guys welcome back to my channel today i'm just kind of gonna do a day in the life vlog i go to the university of kentucky so just gonna be what i do on a typical day here it's currently 8 25 a.m so that's good i woke up at 7 but i don't know i've been doing a lot of stuff since then <laughs> I got my laundry from downstairs. I put it away. Called my boyfriend like 50 times to wake him up. Made my bed. Currently, I'm just cracking open my Celsius. I actually have so much trouble doing that. I don't know why. This is the sparkling kiwi guava one, which usually it's like not the first one I reach for at the store when I buy them, but I've actually been liking them a lot recently. I currently have the watermelon wild berry and kiwi guava ones because I like hoard them. They're just the best to drink before workout. They have like 200 milligrams of caffeine and they like help you burn more fat and stuff and like boost your metabolism. A perfect morning pre-workout drink. It's not like a pre-workout thing, but like before you work out. It's the best thing. Okay. So yeah, today I did get up pretty early since I got up at 7, which is good. I used to be like really, really good about it, but sometimes I wake up later than I want to because my alarm goes off and I go to bed so late. I literally go to bed at like 2, 3, sometimes 4. And then my alarm set for like 3 hours later at like 6 and I'm like, at night I'm like, oh, I'll wake up. And then it goes off in the morning and I'm like, yeah, that's not happening. So I'm glad I got up at 7 today. I've been productive so far. So today is going to be a really good day. I'm going to drink my Celsius. Once I finish this, I'm going to go to the gym. Usually, especially if I'm like up early, I like going on a walk and listening to a podcast. Like my favorite one is right now is Manifest, Tori D. Simone. I love her. I've been watching her on YouTube since like her like OG days. But it's literally 30 degrees out. So I don't think that would be that enjoyable. I think I'm just gonna walk to the gym, work out there, come back. I have a bunch of things to do on Friday and Sunday. Today's Monday. I just had to like check for a second. Today's Monday, so I'm gonna do those. What else is on my list? Let's look what's on my to-do list. Make a to-do list every day. And if you didn't know, you can like pin at the top of your notes app like certain notes that you want to pop up like always at the beginning so i have my morning routine pinned i also make like a daily schedule today i got my laundry already oh i need to take out my trash oh i have to take a test today i almost forgot about that today is gonna be such a good day thumbnail when i set my celsius also happy monday yay i like mondays if I wake up on time and I feel on top of my stuff, I like Mondays. It's all about your mindset, you know? It's gonna be a great day. All right, I'm gonna finish this and then go to the gym and then I will talk to you guys after that. Oh my God. Okay, so I just got back from the gym. Well, I washed my face and took a shower. I actually ended up going to the gym like I said I was probably gonna do, but then I also walked after because I was like sweating after. So I was like, oh, I might as well. Every day when I come back from the gym after I shower and stuff, I make a smoothie. I think I'm gonna make my strawberry mango smoothie, which is literally so good. Like the first time I made it, I was like, oh my God, this is so good. I don't know, it reminds me of like Rita's mango water ice. I don't know if you have a Rita's around you or know what that is, but so good so yeah i'm gonna go make my smoothie and then probably start homework after that i'm gonna make my smoothie now Trader joe's is the place to buy frozen fruit so i have my mango chunks and my strawberries i'm gonna make a really big thick smoothie I have a really tiny, like, cheap blender though. It's always like a process to get it to blend all the way. Now I'm gonna put a scoop of this organic. That's the vanilla organic protein powder with superfoods added. The superfoods kind of makes it taste a little weird, but I've like gotten used to it. I put like less than one and then a little drizzle of honey because it like sweetens it a little bit. I totally almost just forgot to put like liquid in it, you know, to make it blend. That would be good. That would have been a disaster. This still might be a disaster, but we'll find out. This is just almond milk from Costco. 
but this is like literally the best way to buy it because I fly through almond milk and I bought this in like a case of 12. So much easier to have a lot at once instead of buying like one at a time at the grocery store, you know. <laughs> my smoothie out so this is so fun maybe now is the time to invest a real blender i just wanted to wait until i was like out of a dorm room and in an apartment next year to buy a blender okay so that was like a smoothie disaster <laughs> that was probably the worst it's ever been but here it is strawberry mango so good like literally probably my favorite smoothie now it literally took so long to make though and then when i would take it out to like shake it it was just leaking all out of the bottom like filling my blender with smoothie i was like oh my god i just finished drinking my smoothie and also eating honey roasted peanuts for like literally 20 minutes they're my obsession they're so good but now i'm gonna have wow all these items are from trader Joe's. <laughs> It's the Trader Joe's vegan cream cheese and their crunchy little gluten-free pretzels and the everything with the bagel seasoning. I'm gonna put the seasoning on and eat it with pretzels. It's gonna be so good. This is like one of the best like non-dairy or vegan cream cheeses. And no dairy, so you don't have a stomachache. What's that? from Trader Joe's but they're the I think they're called gone bananas and they're the frozen banana slices that are covered in dark chocolate and since it's like a frozen banana slice it, I don't know it kind of tastes like ice cream and it's so good I'm such a sweet and savory person like as I just ate the pretzels with the everything with the bagel seasoning and stuff I finished that and now I'm like oh I need something sweet so that's why I had to go get this I, I could be so full after eating something and I'm like oh well now I need something sweet as I always do right now I really need to do my homework actually only 12 33 which is like pretty early in the day still i'm gonna start my homework now look on my list oh my gosh i keep forgetting i have to take that test totally have to take that test right now i'm gonna do that and then i'm gonna do homework that's due friday and sunday and then i will talk to you guys after that <music> Okay, so I just got done. I mean, not done, but like I'm done for the day working on my homework. It's currently 6.25. I'm gonna... Such a loud motorcycle. Also, like, do I suddenly have a cold? Like, I don't know what's going on. I think I'm gonna make dinner. Well, not make dinner. I'm gonna heat up what I cooked last night. It was really good. It was like a dairy-free Alfredo thing, just so it like doesn't hurt my stomach and stuff. Literally, it was like almond milk, olive oil, nutritional yeast, minced garlic, like very basic ingredients. Ended up really good. It's like not bad for you and stuff. So I'm gonna heat that up because I had extra. So I'm gonna eat the rest of that. I'm gonna do dishes and then probably edit this video. I'm assuming that'll probably take a while. And then I guess call it a night. Like I said, I go to bed late. Like I'll be like, I'm gonna be in bed by 11. Oh my god, I just had a sneezing attack. Okay. I just had more of my sneezing attack. Oh my god. I don't know what's going on. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna edit this vlog. I'm gonna try to be in bed by 11, but maybe I'll be in bed by like 12, 30-ish, but then I like go on my phone or read. I should probably go because I'm like actually dying. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do and um, I will see you guys next week. Hopefully, if I stay on track. Make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It would mean a lot to me. I'm really excited to see where this channel goes. There's going to be a lot of fun things going on this summer. But yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you guys next week.